Hey everyone, um, I'm in my car, so that can only mean, I guess that can mean a lot of things, but welcome to another video of My Vida Loca. Um, we're doing another murder tour. Finally, I know it's been like a year, um, but I'm in Compton right now. So our first case is going to be kind of, um, it's, it's not like famous or like really known, I would say, um, but it did kind of come about in a really crazy way. So the first case is Terry Carter killed by Suge Knight. If you guys don't know who Suge Knight is, he um, was, I guess, the founder, one of the founders of Death Row Records, um, Gangster Rap, Tupac, Snoop Dogg, Ringing Any Bells. Um, so yeah, he actually committed this um, a murder a couple years ago, if any of you know the movie Straight Outta Compton, which um, is the showcasing of gangster rap group NWA. Um, well, yeah, this is the location where it happened, which is actually right across um, my COVID test, which is trippy. Um, so I just left that, and so now I'm here. So he actually ran him over, and that's how he killed him, and there's video of it, so it's really crazy. I'm not gonna touch the video, but here it is. Basically, it's right here. Um, that got him. Um, let's see. So I do want to say that Suge and Terry were friends, and apparently they were meeting here um, when Suge kind of got attacked by another party, and Terry got outside presumably to help Suge, and Suge ran him over. Supposedly did not know that he had run over his friend. Um, yeah. It, like I said, it's not like a super well known or like a murder that like a lot of people talked about i think Shug knight went to jail for this or he's still in jail for this um but yeah that's here and we're in compton we're about to go down to la and i'm gonna show you guys some stuff okay so it's like really sunny but now we are where sam cook died um, and if you guys don't know Sam Cooke, um, he was a singer, um, from way back in the day. Um, I don't know if you ever heard the, working on the chain gang. I'm not going to pretend I know how to sing, even though I'm always found singing. Um, so he actually got murdered at a motel, potentially by the person that ran the hotel. Um, and he was shot, um. And that hotel no longer stands, but it's a numero uno now, which actually also has like a dark history apparently from the person that founded numero uno markets. But um, let's show you around. So this is what stands now. I'm not sure where it was that he died. So it's been completely redone, but yeah. somewhere here here it is okay guys so now we're going to one of the most famous hotels for true crime ever and if you guys know obviously i'm in la this is an la crime murder tour right so if you guys can guess what that is yes it's the cecile hotel in downtown la um it got like remade into like stay on main sorry this thing is really shaky hold on <laughs> another <laughs> this is another thing that shows you that we're in la uneven roads um but yes um we are going to the cecile hotel um 
in downtown LA and like I was saying so it got remade a couple years ago and to stay on Main I don't know how well it did so now half of it is a hotel that's like op like operating and then the second half um, is like residents that live there on like low income it's like um it's like for like low income housing like hostel situation I think um and yeah like the upper units are like for actual residents of the Cecil Hotel and this is a hotel that's been around since 1924 I believe um and it's been made most famous by the Lisa Lamb case that happened there um the young woman who was visiting California and ended up being found dead in their water tank crazy look you can see it from here so as we approach it it. You can see it right there, Hotel Cecile. Um, and oh no, it's too shaky. Hold on. Here it is. Here it is. I'm gonna try and stop near it. Okay. So that's the hotel, and um, it's around like some pretty LA architecture, but. I can go yeah the area around it is it's not the best but that's kind of what you get in LA it's like in and out periods of um oh, he's gonna go so I'm gonna go um of places that are okay and places that are not um you know LA does have like a homeless population um and Hopefully we're kind of rectifying that. I know that it's something that we've been trying to work on, but anyway It's not this video But let's get closer to it Actually, we want to do like another part to this where I actually am able to get off But I don't think I can do that now I'm gonna put right here So it's closed Yeah, so let's not stay on main anymore. It used to be right here, stay on main. And um, I guess it's just closed to the public right now. Stay on main used to be like on this little section right here. And so I wouldn't even be able to go in and take you guys in there even if I wanted. Oh, look. Oh, no. <laughs> um, so if you guys ever watched American Horror Story Hotel, it's not modeled only after this one. It was also modeled after one in Chicago, the Hotel of Horrors, I believe is what it's nicknamed. Um, because there was like secret like chambers where creepy, um, where like people would were like found in the walls and stuff. Um, I forgot that guy's name. I'll enter it right here when I find it. Um, but yes, the Cecil Hotel is like famous for at least 16 weird murders that have happened here um it's also said to be like one of the places where richard ramirez used to actually um stay during his crime spree um and allegedly there's like um anecdotal evidence that says that he used to like show up and just covered in blood um he used to take his clothes off and like discard it in the back, which I'm gonna see if there is a back that we can get to. Um, and apparently like nobody would flinch. Like that was, that was okay. Um, super weird. Um, someone also did commit suicide from one of the top towers um, and they actually fell on someone right here in this sidewalk that I just showed you. Um, and that's really unfortunate. Um, there was like another murderer that used to like frequent the Cecile too, um, but that's pretty much what this Hotel Cecile is in the true crime world. It's known as the Lisa Lamb Hotel, um, but a lot more murders and mysterious things have happened here. Very weird. Um, I've passed it a lot, um, especially before that Netflix documentary came out, but um, look. Oh, it keeps closing. Yeah, so I guess it's still open, but only, like, for people that, like, live here. It's, um, a true crime gem, though, unfortunately, but, um, 
yeah i'm gonna try and loop around and see if there's like a side entrance or like a back way entrance la streets are really weird a lot of them down here turn into one-way streets which make things a little a little difficult um but like i said i'm gonna try and loop around this is kind of the area around the Cecile. Please excuse my little alien. I've actually been here before to Kohl's. Kind of cool. It's just like a little um, Italian pub. Well, that's the vibe that I got at least. And um, you approach Los Angeles Street. You guys, I just cleaned my car, but LA has been so foggy that so you can't keep anything clean here. I'm gonna turn right here. Come on, lady. Is she gonna go or what? Okay. So, I guess this is like the back alley right here. Oh, that's so creepy. Sorry, guys. Like also the little alley right here. Creepy. Creepy. Alright, so yes, that would technically be the alley where Richard Ramirez would get up from. Creepy. Um I'm starting to feel kind of like weird energy. I'm not even being like dramatic. I've only felt it like once before, which was with the Menendez house, um, where Kitty and Lyle were Eric and Lau Menendez killed their parents, um, and I actually have that in Murder Tour 2, um, so check that out if you haven't. This is my fourth Murder Tour, so you guys should check those out. Um, I'm not, again, I'm not very detailed. I do like simple searches and I regurgitate information, so if you want more detailed videos, you'd have to go watch, you know, either look up every specific case or watch someone else that's more detailed because that's not me I just bring you to the places give a gist of you know the case and there you go um I do however um I'm gonna do the OJ Simpson which was supposed to be murder tour number four um and that one's gonna be more detailed just because I want to go a little bit into the psychology of it um but Anyways, I'm gonna go, um, I think to another location, we'll see. So this is where the Black Dahlia was murdered and found, laid out. Crazy. Okay, so these weren't houses before, so it's just like between 39th Street and Coliseum, that way, where her body was found. This might actually be the actual place where she was found. This is where I've seen pictures. Crazy. Still between 39th and Coliseum. Um, and obviously there's houses now, like I said, and her body was just found in half. Um, I think missing genitals, I'm not sure. But it's, it's like around this line and where those houses that I showed you, that's where everyone takes photos. Okay guys, so this is not a murder tour location, but it's a famous, um it's a famous house and i want to show it to you guys so again if you watch american horror story this is the murder house that's so cool i don't know that they filmed inside of but they definitely filmed the outside and um i'm dropping off a gift for a toy drive so i just kind of wanted to bring you guys because it's really close oh that's so creepy though look at the glass over there it's like broken in the chair super cool so i actually had no idea that this is located here it's like located um below koreatown and actually pretty close to where marvin Gaye's father killed him that's murder tour episode one if you want to check that out um but yeah it's pretty cool it's kind of eerie like how like dilapidated it is but it's also really cool Okay, so like I said, um, we are in Koreatown, and this is the famous Will Turn. Again, this is not part of the murder tour, but something cool while we go to our very last location of the day that I've actually been to. Um, if you guys are fans of my vlog, fans, if you guys watch me and my weird little life, 
Um, I was actually here um, for Dodgers and Giants NLDS series game five. And I actually had literally zero idea that this next murder location was somewhere that I've already been. So um, pretty crazy. Also fun fact, the Wiltern is actually the place where I went to my first concert ever. Also times two, um, the Line Hotel is here with open air, um, like the greenhouse um, breakfast place. I also have a vlog about that and um, Spot LA. So if you want to ever explore Koreatown, I would recommend watching those videos because those are two really, really good options in Koreatown. Okay, so the last location is where Bobby Kennedy died. Robert Kennedy, President John F. Kennedy's brother. Um, where he was assassinated. He actually was in politics here in LA. And this is a school now. Um, so I can't really show you too much because you know there are kids here, but it's kind of pretty crazy. So this is what it looks like. My brother need not be idolized or enlarged in death beyond what he was in life. Rather, he should be remembered simply as a good and decent man. But yeah, um, I think it was like coming out from over there that he was assassinated. Pretty crazy. As you guys know, the Kennedy family has gone through like so much trauma. Um, a lot of them have died under very mysterious circumstances or have been murdered. Um, but yeah, I was literally here a couple times and I had no idea. Super crazy. There's also a lot of birds singing, it's like out of here. Um, but I'm gonna close out the video. Thank you guys so much for watching another one of my murder tours. I know it's really random and I'm not the best at this, but I just think it's cool to come to different places um, to kind of showcase a little bit of LA history. As always, none of these videos are meant to glamorize stuff. As someone that studies forensic psychology and wants to work with murderers and stuff in the future, um, you know, in a prison setting, it's just intriguing to me what people are capable of um, and we should never excuse anyone's behavior, especially when it causes such great harm like this. So it's like for me, it's always important to kind of showcase like, yes, it's like a fun video to watch and, and we're going to like, you know, people that are into true crime and stuff, but it's also kind of showcasing like how dark the world can be but also that we should really care about the why you know um i don't go into that in these videos i am going to go into it in the oj simpson one um but yeah thank you guys for joining me and there's gonna be maybe one more there's some murders in the valley i grew up in the valley i could cover those um that's gonna be it for this one thank you guys so much for joining me and i'll catch you guys on the next one bye